what I like about being a part of a ball of maker is just not being a union pushing for union things, but it's about being a union member. And these workers, we take pride in our work, and it makes companies stronger. So we all win. It's a win-win situation when we work together as a team. I'm a ball of maker because the opportunity to have a great job, work with a talented group of guys, and it's just the uh, sense of belonging to something. Oh, you have the right to be treated fair. You have the right to bargain. It doesn't feel like, you know, when somebody's nephew gets out of school that they're going to take your job. So it's just a feeling of security. Without a union, you're basically an at-will employee. So to be a union, it's a sense of family and it's something you'll never regret. What I love is the uh Everything changes, nothing stays the same. So new people, new places, everywhere you go, new experiences. Well, union, you have a say in your benefits. Non-union, you have to say, you have to take it to get it. I have, I was a millwright for about 10 years in Montana, and then I learned about the world of makers through the millwrights, and uh, it was appealing, so I went for it. I love being a world of maker to help other people, to work with other people, the benefit of being a border maker is to make the union stronger, to bring more people into the union, to help other people out. Border makers will make you stronger, keeping the jobs in the United States. That's what I love about being a border maker. Border maker. The union way is the best way. I have been non-union maybe a total of five years in my life. Union member probably 40 some years. Because without the unions, when we lose the unions, we're gonna lose a lot of benefits. Uh, the brotherhood, the fair wages, the benefits, and everything it does for the working class people. The work attitudes, the employers have a tendency to treat people different. I love being a boy maker, live the code.